Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. You know, last week we talked about I may, I me, I may Udoka. Ime. Or Ime Yudoka, depending on how you're going to uh, pronounce it. But I believe that is the correct term that I have most heard people using. So I'm going to roll with the, like, the majority that see, they, they seem to be on the right path. And based off that of nigga the dialects and stuff, Ime Udoka. That nigga named I but Either way. I'm, I'm me, motherfucker. Him. I'm me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Udoka in your box. I'm me, bitch. I'm me. me. I'm me. Ooh, doka I'm in me. your mouth. Say, who is you? I'm me. <laughs> That's what he be saying to <laughs> them goddamn Celtics wise. Ooh, mm-hmm. doka in your mouth. I'm me. You know me. I'm me. Well, you, you know, I'm me, because I'm going to pronounce his name wrong. I'm me should have kept. Um, you dicka in your mouth. I'm me. Out of of out of certain people's mouths, as in, uh, so it turns out that it wasn't a staff member. Do it we was have the any Celtics. Facts? But before you go here, wife. do we have? Is that fact? <laughs> That's from what I've been hearing. Um, like, is that confirmed? I, yeah. I don't want to step out there on that limb because you know, then it be you know, you attacking women. I ain't attacking no woman. Is that fact? Do we know uh, that? I've been I've seen several reports of it saying that all right, so we was, reporting on the report. Anybody that hear that, we reporting yeah. on the report. Yeah, he, 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 we're he, reporting he, on another report. He was slam dancing in the owner wife. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I'm, Rookie the head coach I'm, go to the finals, then hidden off in the <laughs> and that was the finals hit in the head. My guy, the way that that's these crazy. reports have been saying that's it is crazy. like that's why he hasn't been fully been fired because he was like fired, he would be able to get a job in another place. What they did is just put him on suspension for the week, so he so can't, he was, so he can't get no job nowhere, yeah, mm-hmm. or whatever. No, they and, no blood, and, that nigga can go back to college, can't it? Yeah, yeah, and then I guarantee it, you go to co- he go to college for a couple of years, somebody gonna hire his ass. And then gonna tank bad enough and be like, oh Lord, uh, we need some help. Yeah, and then it's the simple fact. Um man, you just people just need to watch where they put their dick. Pause. Man, I, like, I'm, gonna, just, I'm gonna tell just, you what it is, man. What what needs to really happen is people need to be fucking adults, and companies need to realize that people are going like. Have your HR handle sexual harassment, sexual assault, anything that's crossing the line. But consensual dating and shit like that, that's going to happen in the workplace. You know what I mean? Like, if it wasn't for an inner inner, uh, work relationships, I wouldn't be married to my wife. Like, people are going, like, when you think about the average job, right? Most people gonna meet their spouse in that arena somewhere because of the fact that they are around these people. And I'm talking about the whole group uh-huh. of people they work with. They're around them more hours of the day than they are around their family on average. And I mean waking hours. Like if you count the sleeping hours, then yeah, the family got it. But like when you count the hours that everybody is actually awake, alert, and able to engage, you may have like six hours with your family, but you got 10 hours with the people that you work with or at least eight, you know what I'm saying? So like it outweighs. So like, I think that's normal for people to meet their person that they going to be with somewhere in the workplace. Like it, because you spend so much time with them, you're able to get to know them better. Like, mm. And I also can get to see you, like you also get to see each other in like stressful situations and how that looks. And like, it's like more of an analysis phase and you got more commonality coming straight into the gate. So off jump, we already got something that we relate on because we both 
have this shared experience from working at this place. Now, let me interject real quick. That, that what I uh, Okay. Now, okay. you are making some great points. But I don't want people to hear you and be like, I'm going to go find my wife at work. No, I ain't because, saying that. Because we are in the rare percentile. Because I also find my wife there at work. But we in the rare percentile. That I've often heard, don't, what, what, what's the saying? Don't get your money. Go, go, don't get your honey where you get your money. Something like that. Mm-hmm. And most times it fails. But those rare percentiles, which you are a part of, excel. Now, what I'll say is this. To that point, if it's a partnership where, like, we're going in, like, on a business, I wouldn't be a part of a business with my wife. She could work for me. I could work for her. But as partners in a business, that might not work because then what happens is any disagreement we have as partners becomes disagreement we have as lovers. You feel me? Now, what does work is you and another person working in a a, a corporate or a job, any job field, but y'all are like in either separate wings where like y'all don't overlap or y'all are on even playing field. We we both work in the mail room type shit. You yeah. feel me? Like that can work because then it's like you get enough foundation of where like we have this shared experience that if one of y'all does grow, it's not as much hate. It's more like I've seen you put the work in because we was together in this shit. Yeah. What what doesn't work is when we both rich and we try to like, all right, let's do this business together because now creative differences become like arguments in your relationship. It's mm-hmm. hard to separate that when you go home. You know what I mean? It's no cut off. Like you could do that cool. with your homies or like your cousins or people that don't live with you. But when you, when it comes home, like home gotta be a place where you can feel free to talk Thanks, shit about your job, about the people at your job sometimes. And it be a <laughs> safe space. You did. No, like, like real talk though. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, no, sure. Like, like when you get off of work, you want to be able to either get away from what happened in the day or unload and unpack what happened in the day. You can't uh-huh. do that with somebody who is not having the same experience. If they're having a contentious experience towards you, where in uh-huh. your you're their boss, they're your boss, and y'all are having issues where, like, it's employee, employer type. You're fucking up on the job, and I'm having an issue with that. Or you're a horrible boss, and I'm having an issue with that. Or where it's like we're partners in something, but, like, we got to bring home the fact that we've argued all day as partners about this creative difference we had on the direction of the company But now when we Mm -hmm. get home, we still mad about that, but we don't have no place to unload that because the person we're annoyed with is you. You see what I'm saying? So like, it's like, I can't, I don't have nowhere to go with that. So I think what Face is saying is true. And I think when it comes to inner inner work relationships, it it depends on what the, the, the roles are. Now in this situation, what works is email, from what is reported. And again, we're reporting on what's been reported. We, we are not the people uh, breaking the story. <laughs> we don't have no background. We're just going off of what's been out there. It's also been put out there by several sources that Eme and Nia Long had an open relationship. So that means if he was messing around, he's not in the wrong there. But if he is in the wrong there, that's between them. I don't know. But that's also been put out there. I'm going to say that. I will also say this. If he was cheating, he fucked up for cheating. I, I, I would re- I would have rather him just said, fuck that, I'm going for the owner's wife. We're going to just ride off into the sunset, leave the people we was with, and do our thing. That would have been more of the man vibe to me. But if he had an open relationship, and this is consensual, then technically he didn't have sex with nobody that worked for the company unless the owner's wife was a part of the company. Otherwise, what happened is, what really happened is, is an HR blunder because you have a situation where this, yes, some 
immoral stuff happened. But really what happened is this man got suspended because y'all mad that he hit the owner's wife. That's really all that happened. <laughs> He didn't necessarily do nothing that was crazy or outlandish. He just hit the owner's wife. And if that's the case, then I think there may be some, like, I think that more explains now what Matt Barnes was saying when he was like, oh, this is 100 times worse. He may never work again. That more puts it in perspective where it's like, if you hit the on the wife, yeah, you may never work yeah. in the NBA again, but it ain't no some like, oh, you a sexual predator or nothing. And I think mm. what needs to really happen with the whole email doke situation, and I'm, I'm going to leave it to the panel after this. I apologize if I'm going along. Uh, is like when you look at this situation, what really needs to happen is somebody needs to give an actual factual statement from an official source that's directly tied to the situation, mm-hmm. not like an offhand third party, <clears throat> anonymous, you the ball boy, and you heard a player. Like, no, I need some from a person that's like Eme, the actual woman involved, or mm-hmm. the Celtics organization that actually states exactly what happened. Or I think it's almost like it's hard to tell, like. Going off the reports, it seemed like what happened is he just fucked somebody wife and that dude was mad and he got suspended. Yep. If that's the case, that's he's horrible for having so. sex with the man wife, but at the same time, I don't necessarily know that that should jeopardize your occupation if you're good at your occupation. Exactly. And I don't know but, that that you compromises know, these... your ability to do your job. Like this man being the owner unless the owner going to act crazy, I don't know that you going to necessarily be tripping and fucking up the work environment. Like the owner can sit his ass in the box, collect his check and let you coach the goddamn mm-hmm. team to another damn final. There's a lot of pride involved. Yeah. Now, if, no, if there's some other know. shit going on where he done been a sexual predator, then fuck him. I think if it was on some sexual yeah. predator shit, they would be You'd have heard something from the from the other end, as far as from the female involved. If it was some sexual predator stuff, especially with how our society mm. is set up now to ostracize once something is announced. Mm. Um, I think it was some consensual, totally. Um, I feel um, as some of the guys were saying on the sports shows, it, it's two people involved, so I like both. Um, that's my personal opinion. Yeah, he didn't have sex by himself. Um, he's not the only wrong one in the situation. If it's two married individuals in the situation and they had consensual sex with each other, both parties are at fault. Um, if she is his the owner's wife and she has nothing to do with the company, this is on some pride and some spiteful shit. And I feel that at the end of the day, it, it needs to be taken to a, a, a like legal issues because you suspended me because you mad because I, I I hit your wife and your wife ain't got nothing to do with this team. She just got something to I do with you. You your mad. Bitch. It's some Gucci flip you feel me like, like if I were on, on this team you couldn't do nothing to me. If I if I went if he went and hit another co another team on the wife, you can't suspend me. You feel me? So what's the difference? If it's not nothing against no no Stated company policy because I doubt they got in company policy. You cannot hit my wife. You cannot hit the owner's wife. That's not in the company policy. That's not in, in, in the NBA rules. So I don't see, like, unless there's a morality clause in there that says you can't do this and do that, which some contracts do have, um, I, I don't see why he should be suspended because you mess with this man's livelihood. <clears throat> he, took your, he took your pride because your wife offered offer up the goodies. He didn't take it, it was given to him. You can't be mad because she chose mm-hmm. up. You identify my wife bitch chose. with APs. You feel me? You, you, your wife chose. You feel me? Like, it's an age old saying, and a wise man, wise old man told me this many, many, many moons ago, and it's in a lot of rap lyrics too. If mm-hmm. something could be taken away from you, it ain't really yours. Especially in a relationship. If that other person can easily be taken away from you by somebody else, that person was never yours. Realize that. Suck that pride up. 
and, and move on. I know you got a prenup. I know Come you on, get man. another one. Come on, prenup. I, I know you I know you got another one, man. Move on. Like you letting this woman hit your pride, hit your heart, and like kick her ass to the curb. She cheated. She had no grounds in the divorce to to get anything. Come on. Do do <laughs> work the judicial system like the female will work the judicial system on you if you cheated and got caught, sir, owner. You got this much money, but because your pride hurts. She hurt. belongs to the streets. And you feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna take it like this and I'm gonna take it to another level. Boston is one of the most racist cities in America. Yeah, fuck no. I've not seen the owner's wife, but I guarantee the owner ain't black. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He made right. black. That's why you mad. You mad yeah, a black man, man fight your wife. You mad he put that, uh-huh. that thing in your wife and, and then stretched it out. Now you you can't fit no more. It just uh oh, just flopping she belongs to the streets. You you you, you, you flopping around in that cooting, as my brother would say. Um, <laughs> so get your pride together, man. Cause I know you had a chick taken way back in the day. You thought your, you thought your the money cool was long enough that it could keep it so cool, but your money didn't keep the cool. It's a cool. It's a cute. Yeah. She saw something she wanted. She went and got it. Cause I guarantee, yeah. I guarantee your wife made the first move. I guarantee that your wife made because the first move. She belongs okay. to the streets. And e was probably hesitant at first. But at the end of the day, it's the owner's wife. You got, she got that big bread. You don't know what she was shelling out. Because I'm she belongs to the streets. I'm, I'm not going to look at these two people like they anything but two much, a man and a woman. They, I don't give a fuck about their celebrity. They money that at the end of the day, it come down to the, she wanted that thing. And she was offering up that coon new. And that's what it was. Plain and simple. Let's keep it on some real man and woman shit. Like... Fuck all that, what his position is, who she married to. Fuck all that shit. Like, it was two she married people. That, well, thing. Y'all both that might be the name if of this episode. Married, <laughs> if, he, if he had an open relationship, he ain't in the wrong. But she didn't have no open mm-hmm. relationship, and that's why my friend is suspended. That's why he made suspended. Let this man get his motherfucking bread. To the streets. Let this man get his motherfucking bread. You feel me? You don't want her no more. Who? Cool. Toss her ass to the side, but you want another championship, motherfucker. And you seen ain't nobody else brought Boston no goddamn championship in a long ass time. You better let anybody do his thing, goddamn thing. You want this bread, nigga? Look at the bigger Yo. picture. You want the big, you want some more. You big might bread be the reason they got a championship. Big. You want millions and millions, or you want a chick beside you that you don't gonna give it out that coon to the next black man to come on, come near you. Now you're looking at everybody on your basketball team. Now you're looking at every black man on your franchise. Yeah, she might have already did it. Yeah. You you really and, you really insecure. I, I made was this really nigga and, said I made <laughs> and, and I and I made do it too. What I'm saying in my yeah. I may just do it too. Oh yeah. no, I'm I'm saying that she, she might have had a long history of doing that. You know, the, she's the she's the owner's wife and she's there with all the young basketball players or whatever. Pretty much. So, like, he called. She belongs to the streets. She probably like hit on uh, one player or uh, another player, and I may, he may, Aduka, whatever the hell his name is, was like the <laughs> um, how to say, um, uh, it's like a notch on the belt. Like, all right, I got this. This one's like the players was like fifty points. This is a hundred points. Fan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, before we go to that good couple, let's please discuss this Malik couple. He called. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> now, the only reason I'm abreast of this situation is because you, you, we were told. Who are we to talking about? This Malik. Malik. This Malik couple. Oh, man. Malika Andrews. 